managers around the world, it would seem like a daunting task to try and rebrand Rwanda after the 1994 genocide. How do you convince investors not only to put their money into rebuilding the country, but also to invest in sound business ideas? The trick, some might say, is to pick the right investor. And that's exactly what President Paul Kagame did. In what was probably the biggest turnaround story of the African continent, Kagame started attracting investors from governments, aid organizations, and in particular, private sector players. Well, I, I think that they see Rwanda as being different in a way that, that's uh, pretty striking. The, the, the underlying character of the place is, is uh, so... Uh, different in terms of honesty, uh, not taking bribes, uh, emphasizing forgiveness, just a lot of things that, that, uh, that set the place apart. And, and I think that people see that as the sort of foundation you need to, to have a long run, and, uh, and they don't see that in other places. Rwanda is well thought of by the donor community, for sure, as being a country that has done well, has used what resources it has received by way of foreign aid wisely, that it has made not just the right overtures and gestures and statements, but has followed up with the right kinds of policies and actions to be well positioned to move into the East African community, which it's now a member of, into the larger trading community in the sub-region and in the world. So by saying that it wants to rebrand itself, by trying to make sure that there is action to support the words and pushing that forward quickly rather than slowly, it's doing the right things to get people to take notice. The first steps Rwanda took to rebrand itself was focusing on tourism. Rwanda is known as the land of a thousand hills and in those hills reside the rare mountain gorillas who to say the least are so popular that now you need to book months in advance to see them. Tourism is one of the key priority sectors of, of Rwanda uh, and this is purely as far back as 2001 the government of Rwanda realized that uh, in order to move forward uh, towards the vision 2020 um, of the whole country uh, the GDP was supposed to grow by 900 US dollars and therefore it was very critical to find some uh, priority economic sectors although everything in Rwanda at the time was a priority. Uh, if you go back to our history, uh, 1994, the genocide, we were going to use tourism as, as a tool for uh, image building. Uh, but also, of course, uh, tourism was going to help in the, uh, reducing uh, poverty in our country, uh, bringing in foreign exchange, uh, and that is really uh, why the government made it as a priority sector. Uh, and it's since then proved uh, that it, it was a good visionary uh, thinking of our leadership uh, because right now uh, tourism is uh, uh, the number one foreign exchange honor. Uh, last year we were able to bring in about 987,000 uh, tourists into Rwanda and uh, injected in the economy about 204 million US dollars. And for Rwanda, it wasn't so much the global economic downturn that caused a dip in tourist arrivals. If we look at our first uh, quarter one, quarter one is uh, January to March uh, figures. Uh, we had, yes, um, a slight impact in terms of uh, really looking at specific sectors, looking at the, the two operators. Uh, they, 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 we had a, a downtown in, for about 13% down uh, compared to last year. Uh, if you look at some, ho some hotels as well, uh, they were like 15% down. Uh, having said that, uh, we have since noticed that uh, what really caused uh, the, the, the downtown was more to do with uh, the Congo War. Uh, as you know very well, our tourists uh, make their bookings well in advance, and uh, at the time when people who were booking to travel in quarter one, uh, normally do it three months before or four months before and that's the time when there was a lot of um, news going around about what was happening in Congo. Now when you look at the whole sector, um, we actually did very well. The whole tourism industry in quarter one reflected a 26% increase versus last year and we were able to generate uh, 24 million US dollars and our target was 22 
million US dollars.